Hello there, this is Graham, also known as The Collector 75. Welcome to another Transformers Combiner Wars or Unite Warriors review. Um, right, for this one, this is one I picked up. Um, oh, where did I get this from? Oh, this is from uh, TF Nation, I almost forgot. Uh, yeah, this is one of my last purchases there, actually. Um, and I'm actually really glad I picked it up because it's actually a very good set. Um, a few people kept telling me, goes, oh, no, you don't want to get that. It keeps falling apart in Bruticus mode. And to be honest, if um, if anyone did say that, um, they're talking out their arse because it's fine in Bruticus mode. I've had no problems at all um, with any of the figures, to be honest, um, uh, apart from any little minor quibbles that they the figures already had. Um, yeah, so let me just bring on the box very quickly because it is a very good box. I'm not going to be able to show it too well, um, but there is some great artwork there. I mean, that is some, that is some fantastic artwork. It's like it was pretty much G1 reminiscent there because it has them as they are in the toy. Um, there we go. Obviously, uh, and on the back, we have them in their combined mode and everything like that. And it looks good. It shows you what you're getting. Um, you can't go wrong with that. Now this was um, a more sort of like desired set rather than some of the other Unite Warriors sets, mainly because obviously uh, we got a decent blast off there um, and a bit of a redone vortex and everybody like that and a more animation colour scheme. Uh, so let's have a look at the figures first of all. Let's have a look at the main attraction. This was a uh, blast off. Um, obviously for the Hasbro release he was a Harrier jump jet or there or a variation thereof. Um, but this guy, they did a completely new mould um, and made him a space shuttle. I have not got a problem with that. The problem I have is that this is a pretty bad attempt at it, if you want my opinion. Um, I mean, it's quite hollow under there. He has his arms just hanging out. Um, and the, the back and the tail fin look a bit out of place. Like, the tail fin really should sort of be here, really. Um, and in robot mode, he looks a little weird. And the transformation is a bit... Um, weird like you literally this front whole section here you just have to force it past certain bits because there's just no way it has any clearance of its own the head pops off because of this bit here it just it's just a really weird transformation um and to me it screams of um the designer not probably not just having the right amount of time just to get everything um you know everything right you know just just by just having a bit more clearance there figuring out a way for that and just why the head keeps popping off in certain places. I mean, the head is all right. It's just where it's on. It's like a, a joint inside it. There's a bit on this. There's a little knobbly bit in here. And as you move this bit round or his head round, it just pops it straight off, which is a bit weird. Um, yeah, you know, um, you know. I suppose obviously there were constraints to the figure, but it's it's okay. It's not too bad. Um, yeah, I mean, it's it's okay as a space shot, I suppose. You know, it's just it's just a shame it's a bit hollow under there and this bit just moves around as it wants to. You know, but other than that, it, it's not a bad shell. It, it could have been better in my opinion. Though. Um, right, so let's then go to Vortex. Obviously just a big recolour, a lot more darker, a lot more blue on him. And obviously now he has four rotor blades which spin pretty well. And to be honest, um, does it make a difference? I think it probably makes a difference in the fact that the sort of helicopter he is. I don't think this helicopter would need four rotor blades, but... You know, because the original toy didn't. So, you know, um, it just looks a bit of a strange choice there. But, you know, it, 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 it's all right. I have no real problems with that. Uh, let's move on to Swindle. Swindle is a great mould. Um, I love the reuse of Rook to make him like this um, just off-roady Jeep type look. Um, some great. I love the colours where they've coloured in the wheels, the hubcaps of the wheels and everything. Sound mould, that one. And then we go to Brawl. Brawl is a good tank. There's no doubt about it. Um, if they could have figured out a way to have the turret move in, it would have got a 10 out of 10 for me. Well, maybe a 9 because of that dodgy waste bit. Um, and just the way it looks sometimes looks a bit weird. But uh, it's a good solid figure. Nothing too wrong. Probably like a 6 or 7. And then we come to Onslaught. Now, Onslaught has a problem for me. Um, it, you know, it has it on the original Hotspot mould. Is this waste? It's 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 like it bows, and there's no way to do anything about it. So when you put it down, this wheel here just does not touch the floor. Um, there's nothing you can do about it. it doesn't a hot spot? Um, doesn't my other hot onslaught figure? And of course you've got hands visible there. It'd be nice if they could have been tucked away somehow. But all that recolouring that they've done on this is fantastic. I love the guns. I love the way they've just managed to hide all the head and do a good job of transferring it from hot spot to this to having all this. 
Um, that is really well done. I like that. Um, would have been nice if they could have got rid of these. I'm gonna probably say it again when it gets to rope mode because it's a little more nice. And then again, I suppose yeah, it could be in the knee pads, I suppose. But not too bad, you know, for what it is. Um, I'm not going to actually complain too much. You know why? Because it is still a fantastic combiner set. For all their flaws, a lot of these combiner wars figures, they are pretty damn good. You know, they are so much better than anything we've got before. Let's let's go back to those power core combiners. They were crap. Um, because, I mean, they were okay for what they were, but to give us a good combining figure, it was a bit of a letdown because obviously you only had one decent figure and then the others were just weird little drone things, which was a shame because I liked them. I wanted to pick them up, but that just put me off it. Um, I mean, as toys, they're okay, but just as, as from me, my perspective as a collector of certain toys, um, it was a bit crap. Um, right, uh, let's get these guys transformed into their robot modes and um, we'll go from there. I'm not going to show the transformation because of this is a pain in the ass, and there's probably better videos out there than me if you want to see how to transform this guy. I mean, it is pretty self-explanatory anyway, because they all these twin figures near enough had the same transformation. It's quite weird, because all the legs just fold out, the arms fold out, and some variation of what you do with the front cockpit piece. It's, it's quite a clever way that what they've done, but there we go. Um, right, okay, yeah, let's get these transformed into their robot modes. Right, so I've got them all transformed into their robot modes. Um, obviously, 80% uh, of this team are just recolors of the Hasbro versions, of course. There's no major differences on there, um, other than just some paint applications and stuff like that. Uh, so we're going to start with uh, probably, obviously, the, the biggest change, which is Blast Off. Um, now, I really um, am not too keen on this robot mode. I mean, these feet are just huge. Um, they're, they're just, just so sort of long, he's like, like platform shoes or whatever you want to call them, or just clown shoes, I don't know. Um, these bits on here rotate, which for a discernible reason I really cannot figure out, maybe you do that with them, I don't know. Yeah, that probably looks a better look, doesn't it? Um, yeah, it's, it's a bit strange. And then you've got the upper body here, this is formed by the, like the cockpit. And it wraps around the top, um, giving him a, quite an elongated chest from his head. I mean, it looks all right front on. Um, it would have been better if this had been the front, if you're my opinion. But there we go. Um, the arms look a little bit spindly, but again, they're all right. Um, they've kind of like got thrusters a bit like, is it Rook? Um, it, it's all right. It just looks a little funny for me. Um, I'm sure they could have just... Maybe like kind of like what they did with Strafe for the uh, Computron set, um, just have made him uh, a slight remold of one of the other like jet formers. But there we go. But he's he's okay. He's not bad, and he does have at least a blast off head, rather than uh, the Hasbro release, which just reused the, is it the air raid, not air raid. I keep saying air raid. Um, the slingshot sort of like head, which looked a bit weird. It didn't look too bad on the. On the on the on the normal Hasbro release, but on the G2 one where it really does show out because it's white, it looks a bit weird. Uh, anyway, let's move on quickly. Uh, let's go again with uh, uh, this is Vortex. Obviously, they've changed a few of the colours around. He's got a lot of blue on him now, rather than these missiles being yellow on the Hasbro release. Um, but it's these rotors that a few problems does does arrive that they sort of like just hang around the back and look a bit strange looking. Um, but you know, it's it's not as bad as I was expecting. I mean, it's 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 a bit dodgy, but not as bad. Um, again, he's all right. Um, I'm never a massive fan of this mold, to be honest. It looks a bit strange in places. All right, we're gonna go with Swindle. Swindle is probably one of the best. He just looks really good. Um, I like his little gun. Um, they've just obviously um, nice painted eyes there. Um, yeah, there's not much more to say about it. Obviously the same as Hasbro release, just um, some nice new added colours, give him a bit more of a G1. That's not, well, an animation G1 look anyway. But he's okay. Uh, we're going to come next to Brawl. He is a slightly darker colour green, not too much. And then he's just got a few extra added paint applications. Uh, I have no idea why he's got an orange head. I have no idea. Whether he was like that in the animation, I really don't know. Um, 
but he's all right. He's got the tiniest little Decepticon insignia on his forearm for some reason. I don't know. Wouldn't it have been better there? So there we go. Um, yeah, but as a figure, <clears throat> his waist really does seem to hold together a lot better than I've seen on some of the other videos. So that one isn't a problem as such. Uh, then we're going to come to Onslaught. And now he is a really, really blue colour. Um, rather than the Hasbro one being a weird sort of like musky sort of blue. But this is like a metallic blue. Um, really does stand out. Um, and he's alright. I mean, he's okay. Um, after my last video where when I did the Combaticons, someone did point out that I didn't transform the knees properly. And they do peg in properly. And once you do that, you do have no problems with them. Um, so I'm glad someone pointed that out to me because I really didn't know that they pegged in properly. The instructions really are so vague, it is unbelievable. Um, but I had I had watched a video on how to transform just before I did that, and that's why I believed. And he couldn't figure out how to peg them in, and that's why I believed. Um, I really didn't know there was a way of doing it, but there we go. Um, but he's all right. He's not too bad. He's a heavy remold of well, maybe not such a heavy one, but obviously at the Combiner Wars. Um, oh, what's his name? Hotspot. Um, and it works quite well. Um, some bits are a bit dodgy, like on his kneecaps here. He still has the moulded in um, emergency lights. Why they just couldn't have taken those off, I really don't know. But there we go. Um, it does have a massive, massive backpack. But that is due to all the uh, Brutus combined mode stuff just hanging there somewhere for it to go, really. Obviously, this has been G1 days. That would have just been separate parts that you could just throw away. <laughs> Uh, there we go, and lose. Uh, so there we go. So at least it's stored on his back. Um, but then again, he's a military bloke. He should be used to carrying around giant backpacks, shouldn't he? Uh, yeah, so there we go. Right, so that is them in their rope mode. So let's combine them into Bruticus um, and see how good the uh, combined mode is. Yeah, don't stand up too well, does he? No, oh, there we go. Right, so here we have Unite Warriors Bruticus combined into his Bruticus mode. Um, <clears throat> it's actually um, a pretty good mold, if I'm honest. Um, I mean, it has a few drawbacks here and there. Um, the official transformation does have uh, these arms turned upwards, giving him weird, like, barrel sort of shoulders. But I prefer uh, this more look because it gives him more, the more G1 sort of-ish look where you can actually see the guns on the back and everything. Probably not from this angle, to be honest, but there we go. Um, um, I think this actually works with... Um, let's uh, turn it I tell you what, let me pick up this. Um, I think this actually works quite well with the, rotor, with the four rotor blades uh, rather than the two on the... Um, Hasbro release of Bruticus and I actually think Blast Off there works better actually is it better um well it's different anyway um because I actually like the Hasbro um release of Blast Off as the jet because I think the jets work pretty good with art as arms to be honest um so this one is a bit more chunkier um now then I do have uh the actual Combiner Wars feet on these that came with the set. Um, now I'm not a big fan of these. The hands ain't too bad, but they do look very gorilla-esque, like they're just chunky giant hands, which look okay, but I'm still not totally convinced on them actually. Um, the feet are the biggest drawback because they really do inhibit some of the poses. Um, these ones are colour coded. I think I've obviously gone for the an animation effect uh, with those feet. Probably in some of the animation here I had like instead of like with what the toy, the toy came with the grey foot plates and the old G1 toy maybe in the animation I think there's probably a few instances where they were actually colour coded to brawl and swindle so that's probably what they were going with there because obviously they've gone with the chest here which shows a bit like blast off being the chest which is a bit always a bit strange but it looked kind of cool so you know you can't really fault that um, yeah, the feet, uh, just just the design of the feet is a drawback because even though there's no ball joints, it's hard to spread the legs, put them in a dynamic pose, unfortunately. But um, I do have these, which um, I bought the other day off, off eBay and a few other sites. I've been buying quite a lot of these, which are um, KO uh, Perfect Effect hands and feet because um, they've been like these are the KO, like the second release of the hands where they're not looking weird, <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, yeah, these are the better hands, if you're my opinion. And uh, the feet ain't too much different. It's just slightly different shape. 
um, but they do all come with these slight rubber bits giving them a bit more purchase it would be nice if they'd have had a rubber bit around here rather than just on the toes but you know I suppose one bit is better than nothing um, so I'm going to put those on him now and I shall stop it and come back right so there we go I've attached the perfect effect hands and feet and if I'm honest um, I really do like them I think they're slightly better proportioned uh, rather than these chunky hands here because when you put them up these are just these are good because I like them because they've got like added guns on them that's always good in my opinion but I think it's the feet um, if I just angle my camera down slightly I think it's the feet where they they really do shine these feet because you can then just spread his legs bend them at the knees and they do hold up as long as you're on a, a surface where you've got a good thing where they don't slip you you've got a good uh, scope for some great um, poses um, yeah so you can't really go wrong with those let me um, just move them across here and then we're going to bring in the Hasbro uh, Bruticus and then we're going to see any major differences let me just put him over there I ain't got a clue why his feet are in such weird positions but they are um, there we go um, so as you can see I, I, I can't really decide which one I prefer. I mean, I like the Hasbro one. I like this one. Um, I don't mind Blast Off as a jet because if you look back to the actual in, in conception of when they first rung out the, um, was it the Classics line a long time ago, like over 10 years ago, there were supposed to be updated versions of those old G1 toys. So I always thought like a military shuttle was a bit weird because as far as I know, there was no, ever no military shuttles in operation. Um, so that was always a bit weird to me. Um, so I kind of like the fact that he's a jet, but obviously blast off sounds like a jet, uh, should be a shuttle. So, you know, it's it's a hard one. Um, but I don't mind it. I really don't mind it. It's not a bad mould. I mean, it, it looks a bit strange in, in shuttle mode, but um, equally, I, don't, I just do not mind that. And I, I think... All of these look great uh, compared next to each other. I like a few extra colours on here. I think I prefer the blue legs rather than the silvery legs. But um, and I, I quite like the grey chest. But again, I do like the uh, blast offish chest there. Um, yeah, so overall pretty good. Um, and what I do like doing is, because uh, I've got loads of these out at the moment, is you bring in his counterpart, well, I've got counterpart, which was I always believe was defense or, um, let me just pick this up and move this back. And so then you've got a good, really good scene with that uh, defense. So I do want to get groove, uh, for that one, but I just haven't, I was hoping to see him at TF Nation, but I didn't really see any there. Um, so I might look online when I've got a bit of money. Um, yeah, so, you know, um, and once you get a load of these combined Wars figures, they really do look good, because I've got them on, on a shelf at the moment in my front room, which my wife is um, getting the ump about. Um, but they're really good. Um, yeah, some damn bloody fine combiners these are. They're going to have they have to go a long way to beat some of these combiners. Because if you look back like 10 years ago, like when Energon was around with the combiners we got from there, I thought they were pretty good for what they were. Shame that they had two limbs which were the same, if you know what I mean. But they were still pretty good. Um, when you look back at them now, they look pretty damn shoddy uh, compared to these. Um, and then that fall of Cybertron Bruticus, which was a travesty, should have been good. Just was a bit of a letdown, what a big letdown really, <laughs> which was a shame. But this one is just brilliant. Um, I, do, I like Bruticus, I like... Menasaur with the added perfect effect bits. Other than that, he looks really weird. Um, Defensor here is okay. Superior on is pretty damn good, and some of the others are pretty good. So other than that, um, I'd recommend this set um, over the Hasbro one. Only if you really want a shuttle. Other than that, the Hasbro one is absolutely fine. Uh, right. Okay. This has been great. The Collector 75. I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.